I went to the three men in a basement comic book swap. I sold comics, but I also made a swap. All right, guys, we're going to get into this video, but the first thing I want to do is apologize if the sound and the audio is messy. I have purchased a new mic. It's right over there. I just have to do all the settings, but I have to get this video done. God, this thing is getting a little old. Uh, all right, before we get into, into the video, I want to remind everybody all the social media, you know what to do. Hit the thumbs up, the follows and all that, blah, 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 blah. I want to tell everyone too, Friday night. June 23rd, The Defective Collective. We are coming back on Whatnot over at Very Gary Comics on Whatnot. We are giving away a new Legends of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Switch. So we are giving one of those away during that stream. Please come hang out. I hope all you guys who were there last month enjoyed yourselves. We gave away a PS5 and I hope everybody had a good time. With that, let's get into it. All right, so the Three Men in a Basement comic swap, if you guys don't know, Three Men in a Basement, they also have a YouTube channel. They're all over Instagram. It's just that. It's three guys in a basement. They talk comics. They're great, Everett and Roger. And at this point, I don't even know who the third one is. I guess Dave in the Cave. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of people kind of throw their hands in there and give, give them help. But anyway, this is their annual comic swap. It's kind of like a really small, tiny, mini convention Uh with a lot of trading, a lot of buying, and a lot of selling. Very, very small, very, very efficient. Think of King Con on a smaller, 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 smaller scale where everybody kind of knows everybody and it's a lot of fun. So uh, I did tour, I, I did record, we'll get into the whole show floor. I'll show everything, but I want to apologize too. My gimbal, the tool that I use to keep the stance camera steady, it was dead. So I had to actually walk around. I tried to be slow. And if, if you don't want to watch it because of the, the shakes, you know, as I'm recording, I completely understand. But you do want to hop to the end of the video then if that's the case, because I did make a huge trade. I traded away of House of Secrets 92 in an 8.0 first Swamp Thing. And I'll let you know what I got back in return at the end of the video. I think that's everything. Also, guys, check out MutantBeaverComics.com, MutantBeaverComics.com. There is a discount code now, Gary10. Get you 10% off your purchases from there. They do ship worldwide. They have a ton of store exclusives, which is really, really cool. So enough chit chat. Hopefully this mic is not a disaster. Uh, let's get into the swap and check everything out. Okay, we are on our way to the Three Men in a Basement comic swap at the Angry Hair Salon. I don't know what I, I don't know what to expect since this is a salon, but what I've been told is it's very uh, impressive. So we're about an hour and a half out, but first things first, we definitely need some fuel. There we go. We're already down 50 bucks today. Haven't even, haven't even gotten there yet. This is getting wild. <laughs> My car was very thirsty. So there you go, we're in the whole 60 bucks already today. All right, that's our goal. We have to make back at least $60. Okay, we are getting closer. We are about five to 10 minutes out from the Angry Hair Salon. Yeah, you heard that right. We'll see what this place looks like. They did a swap last year at the same location, so it must be good because it's, I think, the first and only time they've done back-to-back -back same locations for these swaps. So we'll see how it is. Looking forward to it. Look at that, a friendlies. I have no idea if it's still open, but I thought they all closed down. Very, very uh, interesting. Huh. All right, guys, so here we are officially at the comic swap. We got Everett over there on the microphone just yelling like crazy doing stuff. But here are some of the giveaway items. You enter into the raffle. I mean, there is a two, four, four tables full of potential giveaways. Original art, variants, slabs. There's so much stuff here. But I'm sorry, it's gonna be a little shaky with the camera because my gimbal is dead. So I do wanna show you guys here the angry hair, this whole situation here. We got vendors in the corner, vendors in the middle, almost on like these stages, which is really cool. And then on the right side, more vendors, a lot of vendors. I think it's like five bucks to get in here and it's literally nothing but vendors. They have, they have a bar set up here. Um, 
I'm back there in that little tiny, little, little setup here. But I mean, when I tell you there's vendors everywhere, they're all over the place. And the fact that this is a hair salon is like crazy. A ton of people from the community showed up. I mean, a ton. Look, look, he's just giving stuff away over there. I don't want to walk around too much because of the shakiness, but look at this guy running the show with a silly ass Red Sox shirt on. You think he's giving my stuff away for free? He, look, he doesn't even know what's going on. Oh, there, there. <laughs> there go. And we're going to wrap around here. We have more stuff. Oh, hey. Look at two Red Sox idiots over here. Look at them. Ugh, these guys. More of here. Oh, Nemesis. Check out their podcast. Plug the podcast. Uh, check out the Comic Con podcast, iTunes, Spotify. Podcast. There you go. Yeah, when are you going to have me on? No, I can't just say, hey, I'm ready to come on. What's going on? Look, we got a lot. Look. Oh, I, like, I got to come back over here anyway. Let's go, let's go see our boys in the corner here. Look, ex Illusionary and Gerard over here. What do we got? Boy, you guys really took a small setup. Look, I like your wall. <laughs> Next year, you're going to do bigger? Next year, bigger. Yeah. No, I get it. We got stuff over here. That's a tall wall. And then we got stuff. Here we go. Look at this. I got to get back over here. The gambit's still there. Gambit is still there. I was talking about the gambit earlier. We were talking, we're discussing. I don't know who's over here. You got to respect these heavy boxes. I'm not, I don't like the BCW. Oh, it's street side. Street side Anthony over here. I'm just going to start taking stuff. See if he notices. There's his wall. Oh, the Platinum Superman up there. Look how shiny it is. Right there. And he's got some slabs. And we're turning the corner here. Oh, I look. I like the John Stewart up tight, up top there. And then look, two of my books that I love. Fire Lord and Nova. Frankie Ray, right there, right next to each other. That's a good buy. One, two. You got some masters down there. Oh, we got more music playing. But you guys, this is the three men, again, the three men in a basement comic swap. They do this every May in, hey, what town are we in? Newington, in the Newington, Newington, Connecticut. It's like five bucks to get in and like, it's a great little comic show. Look at these guys. Some of us showed up late. Some of us showed up very late. Some of us, that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> All right. Should I go around the corner? Have you guys been in the back yet? Is there anything worth going back there? Uh, a couple of cool stuff over there. A couple of cool stuff. We'll take a walk then. Seven I'm minutes. sorry about the shaky. Seven minutes left to get in the wrap. Oh, we got to get DJ Lynx. We got to get DJ Lynx. Here he is. <laughs> DJ Lynx. What's up, guys? Good, good. How is everything? You got the Funkos and... Oh, that's not a bad setup with the Funkos in front of... I see holes. Did we move some? Oh, now there's no hole. <laughs> this is gonna be a shaky video without my gimbal. Yeah. Oh, look. Uh-oh, hold on, I'm being summoned. Emerald, what's going on? Am I, I got requests? Wait, hold on, let's see if we have it. I do. We had to, uh, we had to do that first. Let's see what, what we got, Frank. Uncle Frank in the house. I've had a great time, Gary. How about Good. you? Good. I'm having an excellent time. I'm already looking forward to next year. Right. I'm glad you finally made it out here. Yeah. I we, we did what I I was I made the first two, and then the last two I couldn't go. That's and now there's this I one. Yeah. Oh, I like the Mario. Look at the Mario. You got any Zelda? I don't. Oh. That's yours. Original. Wait, that slab is not the Mario. No. Oh. Oh, oh there we go. Seriously. I didn't mean to do that. That's all right. And we got some more stuff here. This you too? 
Oh, okay, his spine works over here. And then here we go, the beast, the legend. Here he is, the legend. Are you having a good time? Having a great time. Yeah? Have you made, this is a swap, have you made any trades? Surprisingly, no. Just selling. Selling, but I'm selling great homes. Everyone's leaving a smile on their face. Good. That's all you asked, That's it, that's all. Awesome, all right, we're gonna go to the treats now and get them on there. All right, Dennis. Can we sell it or what? All of it. Okay, All of it? Let's go. let's go live right now. We are, well, we're not live, but this will. All right, CK Suites. What can I tell them? Plug it. Plug the hell. Here we go. No pressure. No pressure. No pressure. Everything made from scratch with gloves. With gloves. That's, there's the sales pitch. There you go. There, I see a lot of holes. Look at all, a lot of, a lot of stuff missing here. I have a bag full of this stuff, guys. So, all right, great. Simply, what's I gotta come and get some soap. I have to come and get some soap. Simply Cypress, real soap, simply made. Yeah, I picked up some before. Now I need more. So I'm, I'm gonna be coming back here, selling books. The three men in a basement. Oh, come on, highlight that guy. Look at, was Roger know he's on some soap? Yeah. Holy, now that is for the comic community. All right, this is our last stop right here. It is the three men in a basement. Oh wait, there are no three men in a basement guys here. Chinmo is designated to staff. <laughs> he's just, have you been moving books? Have you been selling their books? No. Nothing. Deep discounts, right? Deep discounts. The whole stand, ten dollars. Come and get it. I will take it. If anybody needs any napkins, we're, they're selling napkins and the smallest stickers known to man. So you don't want Roger's face that big. No, I guess I suppose not. So there's some stuff in here. I know that one. So they have a couple things in here. Oh, I might make a few offers. We'll see. We'll see. But all right, Chimo, we're signing off. That's it. Say goodbye. See you guys. Remember, keep them coming. All right, so that was the show floor. Thank you guys for, for watching. Um, I did have a tiny, small uh, version of my booth. I had one tiny wall set up. I think I had like five or six long boxes of priced out random stuff. I had uh, five or six short boxes of sets. I had five boxes of slabs and that was pretty much it a very small amount but a big shout out to everyone there all the people from comic community over on ig and everybody else it was so much fun big shout out to mike the beast benson the the king con legend himself chin mo he was there benny man from bean town he helped me out a lot at the booth because i was by myself of course all the three men guys street side anthony was there i'm definitely forgetting a ton of you guys so i do apologize oh ny warriors they showed up they were they were there in full effect that was cool um i think josh grav was there yep i'm pretty sure josh was there uh big uh ck sweets was there they were doing cookies and everything you check them out at the end of the whole thing so with that, let's get into my trade. So again, I traded away House of Secrets 92. That is the first Swamp Thing in an 8.0. Extremely difficult book to find, especially in high grade. And that was my one and only copy I ever found in the wild. So it was near and dear to my heart. What I got in return were these books and money. So let's go through these books one at a time. This is, I love this book. This is blip number one in a 9.2 white pager first comic book appearance of mario and donkey kong so i actually have a 9.6 in my personal collection which i do want to set up a new cabinet of uh probably like video game stuff like zelda stuff and mario stuff and this of course would go there i'm kind of going to start being on the hunt i think for the valiant zelda books i think those would be cool but anyway I picked this up. It's not super duper expensive. None of these books are crazy expensive. I don't think any of these books are worth more than, I almost want to say $400, but still, it was a nice batch of stuff. Next up, Thor 165 with the Thor label. We can get rid of this. We don't need that. Uh, this is the first Adam Warlock, first him. This is, the, this is the good one. He has a ton of keys. This is the good one. I also picked up one of my favorite books. 
You can guess it. I'm gonna give you two seconds to guess. One, two. My one of my favorite books, favorite spec book, and a very low grade. Fantastic Four annual number six. This is the first appearance of Nihilus, first appearance of Franklin Richards. And I just love this book. I love it. It's affordable. It's it's getting even more affordable, which means I'm gonna acquire even more copies because I think this has some legs. All right, a bunch of books, a bunch of books. Now remember, House of Secrets 92 is not cheap. How about a Batman 423 and an 8.5? This is a first print. This is this is all cover. Uh, Cockrum de Carlo, of course. It is the classic McFarlane and Joe Starlin. Or Jim. God, Joe Starlin. Uh, yeah, you've seen this book a bunch of times. Little ASM here. What are we going to... Oh, yeah. All right, here's some ASM. I actually sold one of these and then acquired one of these. This is... Amazing Spider-Man 46, first appearance of Shocker. This one in a 6.5. This is my highest grade. I think this is my only one. I think I sold like a 3.0 and ended up with this back. So that worked out really nice. This is a very, very nice. It's a very nice 6.5. Yeah, the tanning on the back must have killed it. All right, another Amazing Spider-Man book. How about the Rhino in a 4.0? Amazing Spider-Man 43? 41. First appearance of Rhino. Yeah. I think I have a couple of these anyway. This might be my only 4-0. And last but not least, I know this does not add up to a House of Secrets 92. I told you I did get some cash. Uh, Tomb of Dracula, number 10 in a 3.0. Again, very affordable grade. Good entry level price on this one. I love it. And it's every bit of a 3-0. It really, really is. So with the cash, which we're not gonna talk about, and these books, I did trade away House of Secrets 92, and there were trades everywhere, all over the show floor. It was a lot of fun, a lot of buying, a lot of selling. What these guys do too, is they do a huge raffle, where all the vendors, they each throw a book into the pot, and then they they set up a raffle for each book, and every book is like a $100 book. So it's really, really cool. I did a, I think I did a um, Last Ronin CGC 98, signed and sketched by Ryan, which was really cool. So uh, somebody walked away with that. I don't know who it was, but hopefully they were happy. That's it for this. Again, the Three Men in a Basement comic swap. It is in Newington, New Jer uh, Newington, Connecticut at the Angry Hair Salon. I'm assuming next year will also be in May. We'll see. Give them a follow over on YouTube. And thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, keep the comics.